Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today with a little project. I have stuff, oh my gosh. So, seven journal kits I have here to my side that I am planning to take um, beginning of May to my friend's retreat. So, we're going to go through ephemera and see what we have that works with everything. So, um, yeah, I might have to kind of re- acquaint myself with what's here and then we can go from there but let's say hi and hugs first to sheila carol peggy and laura thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments okay so first i have here uh um kathy holden cover and uh of some ephemera let's see here i also i also have this one it doesn't look doesn't look like i've done the um done the signature for this one so yeah so that's something i need to look at too is like where am i in the process of these so so yeah i'm gonna need my pages i did not grab those so i'm gonna grab those These are the pre-done, my little box of pre-done pages for journals. So we've got that. Okay. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> um, I knew I had some stuff made up because we had a little session with uh, Kathy Holden um, ephemera. Oopsie, it's stuck to that. You get on there. Um, and I'm going to put this one with this other one because it's got a little purple to it and I don't need two in the same journal. So got that little wrap around, got this. Okay. And then it's down here. Oh. I guess I thought that would go with it. I don't know. That yeah, goes okay with it. These are little um, tags made from her uh, fabric, from the fabric. And then this one again is kind of purple, so I'm going to put it with the other one. Okay. So we have that. So I think what I'm going to do is like just kind of set these around myself on the maybe on the flourish because as we go through the ephemera we don't need to go through it seven times we just need to go through it once and try and and pop things in where they would go so I'll put this behind me this one is kind of at the at the beginnings um this one needs Gosh, do I? Oh, good. I was going to say, where is the, who, whose is this? It's Floral Poetry by Artsology. This one, do I have that down? I want to be able to say, okay, this one is a jewel design. Um, you know, I want to be able to say when I show you what I've done with these journals. So, okay, good, good, good. Okay, these are these are the pages. This is kind of more like a um, more like a cover, but you know what? It'd be kind of neat to have that as the as the first page of this. I think. A little tag in there. A little tag with some. Oh. It's from Triple V Vintage is where that's from. This cover is um, it's made by May Lynn, who used to, to who used to work with um, Veronica at Triple V Vintage. She does not anymore, and as far as I know, does not have her own shop. So I don't know if she's just not creating anymore or what. Anyway. I digress. I'm thinking that would be a nice cover. 
Okay, let's let's get that done and get this to the same stage. I probably had to cut out the pages is what I'm guessing and that's why I didn't get this put together. So we've got two, three. Four, five, six. This is beautiful kit, Deb. Deb from Artsology. And it's got, so it's got poetry. And then, of course, the flowers. I love it. Okay, I lost count. Doesn't matter. We'll figure it out here. Okay, so definitely we're going to need some things to go in. Uh, one thing that I'm thinking from the get-go, where did I put that? Did I put it in here? Um, hang on one second. I was thinking about what I was thinking about was the belly band that we made the other day with double belly band and wow okay oh there it is I knew I just saw it it's like hello Gail okay um see I think this would be awesome in this so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab um, let's see, hang on. I wanted it a fairly, a fairly robust piece of coffee dyed paper, and I'm just going to make the page right now. Um, so yeah, we will kind of go here, there, and everywhere in this process just because, I don't know, that's just, that's just how I do it. Okay, so we're going to put th these kind of here, I think. And then um, this tag will go in there. This will be a good page for this, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that down. Maybe should have moved it down a little, but I think it's okay. Okay, and then put this down. Got these all. Oh, I was going to show you from yesterday too. I'll do that here in a second once we get this project done. And these were these were made out of the book pages. We did these the other day. If you didn't see that video, it was um, Sunday, I think, last Sunday. Okay, so that is going to go in there, but I'm not going to do that yet. Let's look at the rest of our pages and see what else we might like in there. Okay, got a lot of book pages. We might as well do one of these. This just has the three different sizes. This was inspired by Corey Dahman, and I absolutely love this because you can kind of go back and, you know, and then decorate these with, with whatever. So I think we'll do one of those. See. Do we have any of my? Wow, that that looks kind of cool with it, doesn't it? One of my uh, jelly prints. Words are hard today for some reason. I don't know. I've been so looking forward to doing this too. Um, no. Just kind of check out what might go that kind of does doesn't it okay we'll pull it out I was thinking that would be more fall but it, it goes with the sepia color she's kind of got going on there nothing else is jumping out to me this one. Oh, that's a bee one. This one. 
No. And that one. I don't think so. Um, but what I like, a uh, little page of flowers, I think I would. Um, nope. If it doesn't sing to me, I don't do it. Just don't do it. It's got to sing. Got to sing. Okay. Got some um, bee papers here. Bee waxed papers. Oh, what about this one? That one would kind of go, wouldn't it? Lots of writing space there. Um... gazillion book pages. Let's see if we have any of these collage pages that would go. I'm kind of looking here to see, but not that one, not that one. Ooh, that one's pretty with it. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. I've done this process with most of them, I think. I think this one it's just a bit of an outlier there. I don't know. Okay, so we've been through those. And so I'm going to set those kind of aside. Thank goodness for a floor, huh? Okay, so I have two, four, I'm not going to count this one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay. Straighten that out a little bit. I think I can put it in now. There we go. Okay, so let's put it together. This is going to be first. Ooh, I need a middle page, don't I? Okay, I think one of these needs to be the middle page. Ooh, I love that. Let's do that as the middle page. Just flip that bad boy around. No big deal. Okay. I think... These seem to be in a pretty good order in terms of color variation. Um, I think I'll put that one here so it's not too close to that one. Okay, so there. All those are put together. Now what I want to do is kind of put something in between each one. This one actually has a journal card and a tag all ready to go, too. Let's just put that there. It's on, uh, it's jelly printed on parchment paper, and I love it. Okay, so let's do more or less a plain one there. And... Oh, it's got both sides. That's fun. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look great together? Okie dokie. Okay, let's do a little I'm thinking about folding that the other way. Okay, well. And then we'll put something a big piece on there. See, doesn't that look pretty? Okay. Let's do this. And might have to go an extra page on this one. 
I'm going to put the floral one here like that. And then I have one, one more that I need something, some kind of a page. Um, right there. Let's, let me think, what do we have? Um, you know, what I didn't use was a book page. So let's look here and see if I have an old book page. There's this. Ooh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Let's use that. Just need something to separate those two digitals. Okay. All right. So that's now put together. So I'm gonna stick that in there along with a few pieces of ephemera. And then I'm gonna set this aside. Oh, I was going to show you, too, from yesterday's Mixed Media Monday, my little girls. I worked on her hair a little more and got her a little bit. I'm happier with her. And then we did this one. And then I kept going when I went off camera and I did this one. So just, just a bit of fun. This one I did on the canvas because I'd already had her drawn. And then, she, so she's a flip like this little girl. So... Those, those are tags or pockets we could use. Okay, next thing is this one. Um, and on the, on the other ones, we'll think about doilies and sacks and that kind of thing that go into the, um, into the signature. So we'll, we'll think about that too. This again is one of Maylin's covers. I I I'm sad she's not doing it anymore cuz I loved her stuff. I bought many of her covers. This one is Periwinkle Matilda. 14 digital pages. Okay. So, I'm going to have to be discerning. Here's the here's all of the ephemera. But we are going to decide because, oh, I see what I did. So these are ready to be sewn. See, when they came to me, they were blank on one side. I don't really like to do blank on one side if I can avoid it. So I am going to sew around all of these. So that's where we are with this one. So it needs to kind of go into a different spot. Spot, so I remember, I mean, we can still pull ephemera for it, but I need to remember to sew around it because I will do that before I go. Okay, what's the next one? This one, it's beautiful cover. Oh shoot, am I not gonna? Oh, please tell me. I love these too. Um, I bought quite a few covers from her. I want to say Sandy's Craft Market, but I'm not sure that's right. So, shoot, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, this one is from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. This is the Kate Greenway Garden Journal. Isn't it so cute? I love Kate Greenway. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. So there's enough for two journals here. So once again, I'm going to have to be somewhat discerning about this. I, I do love this one. 
I mean, I love them all. That's the trouble. But what goes best with the cover? That one does. I think this one might be a bit too bright. This one's perfect. This one's a definite maybe. This one goes well. This one goes well. This one, no. This one, I mean, it could, but could go with something else better. This one, too. The blue one. So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five. with this one. I'm going to say no to this one and no to the purple one. This one. I think we can include this one. Okay, I am though going to keep these because you never know if I might want to use one to create a piece of ephemera, a journal card, or something like that. So I'm going to keep it with it. Put it back in the bag here. And yeah, I didn't realize we had so much. I thought I had all the signatures ready. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, apparently not. I'm going to put this one in the middle. Um, and we've got this beautiful peach. So let's find the outside. I mean, that could be nice. Right? Yeah, that's the outside. Okay. Sandy's Craft Market, I think, maybe. Shoot. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll have to I'll have to look that up on this one. Who did the cover? But isn't it beautiful? I just love these. Hmm. If I I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description box. I'm not gonna link everybody, but I'll I'll go ahead and Look that up and put it in there for you because I feel bad. You know, the old gray mare's memory ain't what she used to be. These are so great. Mrs. Cog's Crafts is awesome. As you probably already know. This one, and this one, and then this one. Um, these backgrounds, I do know. The backgrounds of the last one, the coffee dyed ones, are my own digital. These are Caroline's Craft Tree, I believe. Okay, this on the outside, this on the inside, and we need like seven pages or something. Get my pages back up here because I thought I was done with them, but I'm not. Okay, definitely one of these. That's why I made a bunch. Um, yeah, those are all, all those. That's great. What is this little thing? Oh, it's a page to go into, isn't it? it does kind of go with that. I might put that with the ephemera for that one. Oh, except it's a page. Duh, Gail. Okay, we'll see. I mean, we can pull them out. We don't have to, have to, have to use them. Let me get these over here so you can see what I'm doing instead of doing it off camera. I'm not sure I'm going to have anything of that color combo in my jelly prints. I don't think so. I don't know if this might work. That might work. Sorry. Move back over again. Yeah, this is this is a pretty pretty lengthy process. It just is, but 
Ooh, that would be nice in there. Ooh, here's a here's a ruffly page too. We'll do both of those in there. These guys could go with the jelly prints, couldn't they? Oh, I sewed that one. Okay. That one maybe could. Oh, here's my book pages. Duh, Gail. Okay. I'm feeling like that would go. Isn't it nice to have them done ahead of time? I do believe so. I do believe it is. This one's cool. It's an old book page. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's do that. Just looking to see what colors go and that kind of thing. Okay, so I didn't bring them over here, but another thing I could put in there is one of the... Uh, lacy dyed pages if I need one. So, what I do with it? There it is. Okay. That looks neat with that. I think so. It's a bit big, but it's okay. It will fit. I think I want to maybe flip the way these are folded or something. Vintage wallpaper, isn't that cool? Oh, that looks kind of neat. Go this way though. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty. This one. That looks nice with that. Oh, doesn't matter. Okay, where is this guy going to go? I think it might have to just be on its own. Like that, not matching up to the page. Okay, I need something in there. Let's do this. And we'll see how many pages I have. If you've watched me for a while, you know I like to do about 15 in a one signature journal. But um, will this go there? Kind of will. Um, yeah, I like uh, to, to do about 15 pages. And oh, let's put it right there. Okay, and I just have this little guy, but I think it would be neat in here if I can find a spot. That's nice. Let's do that. Have it folded backwards. All the texture was on the side that was on the inside, and I want it like that. Okay. Well, we did that one too. I'm going to leave that on top so I can kind of see it as we're going through with Emra. If we get to that, I think we will. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I had just fussy cut all these and not made the signatures. I didn't realize. I thought I had. 
Another Artsology. This one called Painty Flowers. And holy cow. Oh, these need to be sewn too. Okay, cool. I'm going to put that aside then. And we'll just know that we've got... We've got that if we want to do the... Um, pull out ephemera for it. Okay, this one I haven't done the signature either. Well, I thought I was further ahead than I am. It's a good thing I'm doing this. Okay, these are the two fun little um, vintage wine sack folios. I stuck those in with this because this one, and I actually have some other ephemera already made for this because it is a cabinet card type of journal. Oh, there's a page. Yes. Okay, there's a page. All righty then. Let's see what we've got here. Vintage Studio 717 Victorian Album. So that is the digital I'm using. And there is also this one from Junk Journal Craft Lena. Ancestor Collage and Neutral Journal Page. So there's that too. So I just kind of put cabinet cardy type things in here, but I really wanted to use this vintage vintage studio 717. White on the back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this. Okay, so this one and this one, I'm going to sew them together like so. And this one and this one, I'm going to sew together. Okay, and this one, I think I could sew it together with this. Maybe. It's not quite big enough, but... I could put I could put something else on there. I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, so this one requires sewing too. This one I just thought would be kind of fun. Um just it doesn't matter that the pages are different sizes, it's gonna be in the signature. But there's no backing for that either. Would this be a better one for that? No, it would not. Anyway, I'll figure that out. But I'm going to just leave. I'm going to leave these out for the moment because it's another one to be sewn. But there's um, there's quite. Oh, and these are these are my digitals that I thought we could play with in here. Okay. Okay. So these aren't actual ephemera oh that's a page that's gonna go here okay all right so that needs to be sewn as well and all this is pre-made ephemera already yay okay got it got it somewhat organized so gotta sew that one too where do i have all my sewing things <laughs> I'm going to move this. Oh, goodness. Yeah. In the past, I have gotten six to seven journals done at the retreat. This is our last one to kind of go through. Um, and, yeah, so that's why I have seven prepared. And then I'll do other projects, too. So this little cover, I made... I, I liked the cover like that, but I felt like it needed a little something. And so I made this little thing one day. And that will just tie with this beautiful ribbon. But it's just a piece of quilt and a yo-yo and a button. So that's the cover on this one. And this one is from Chapter One Papers. Tons of ephemera in this one. Love that. So, let's see. 
are we? Oh, we are white pages, aren't we? So we're going to have to back these and sew these. Let's see. What do we want on the inside? What do I have on the inside? I need to put something on the inside. One of the papers on the inside of the cover. So let's kind of figure that out. So that's a thing I want to do too because... I don't want to take Mod Podge to my retreat. This is a beautiful. Um, this one is called, is it, can I? Chapter One Papers. I don't know. I don't know what the kid's called, but you can't go wrong with any of her kids. They're gorgeous. Ooh, that could be fun on the inside. Yep, I think this is going to be the inside. And it's not quite tall enough, wouldn't you know? Okay, so I'm going to put that on there, but then I'm going to need to do like some pockets or something. Okay, this has a bit of work to it left. So good to know. Good to know. I have a few weeks, so... Man, I'm glad I pulled these out. I honestly thought they were all ready to go. And all I had to do was um, was just do the uh, ephemera. <laughs> My brain's going in too many directions. I can't, can't keep it together. Okay, I'm going to sew those two together. This one and this one feel similar to me. I think this one would be a good inside cover or inside page, you know. Mm. Let's put this on the other side of it. Okay. And this one. This one and this one. Wow, I have a lot of sewing to do that I didn't realize I had to do. So, I'm going to have to get busy. I mean, it would not be the end of the world. I will take my sewing machine, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. But, I would kind of like to... And these edges aren't meeting up perfectly, so I'm probably going to rough up the edges or lace or something and then this is just a fun little doily piece okay but there's that one and this one has tons of ephemera from the kit so okay i have four <laughs> that need to be sewn oh my gosh okay that's okay and then i'll have to figure out the uh figure out the um, signature, the other pages. Okay, well, here is my pockets. Let's see if we can get just a few things gone through so that I don't feel quite so overwhelmed with what there is to get these kits ready. Okay, these are very neutral. Um, Maybe one of these in the uh, cabinet card. Okay, I'm going to put that there for the cabinet cards. These are just little pockets, little Timmy kind of pockets. Um, would this go with the Mrs. Cogs? I think it'd be okay. Okay, I am going to actually, I think I'm going to toss the ephemera that I pick out for a certain one with that particular journal so I don't have so much on my desk. Okay. Timmy ones. These were some... We're sent in an Etsy share. What 
but I want to do that in the um, in the cabinet card. I think I might. The, the other thing I think is it doesn't hurt to take stuff. And if you don't use it, you don't use it. You just bring it home. But this is just a little fabric pocket. That might go well in the chapter one. So I'm going to put that with that. It's a little bit white. But I think I, what I might do is um, kind of put a little bit of distress ink on it. That would... That would go with the, who is that? Oh, Periwinkle Matilda. Look how well that goes. That's awesome. Okay. All right. I don't know when I'm going to find something for these to go into. They just haven't, haven't found their spot. These we just did. Um, and they should go with something, should they? Um, this one doesn't go too bad with the chapter one, so I'm going to put that with that. Um, yeah, I don't feel like those really go. Here's some with clusters on them. This one maybe could go with the chapter one. It's a lot of pink and teal. No, no. This one's kind of purpley, so I'm going to put that with the periwinkle. Um, that one looks a little too modern. That one. Would this go? I think this could go with um, the chapter one. Actually, this one I think goes better. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know. Both of these kind of go. So I'm going to put those there. I'm going to have a lot more to go. Oh, that one's got a little. That could be Kathy Holden or Pink. Uh, pair, uh, chapter one. <laughs> um, I'm going to put that there. There is some purple in the other Kathy Holden, too, so I need to remember that. Oh, yeah, that goes with that. Doesn't really go with any of the projects I'm doing. Okay, so we're through that batch. Let's go through another batch. Let's go right here. Um... Maybe with the uh, cabinet cards. I am sorry. I am just like, I cannot talk today. Edith Holden, she could have. I think I'm going to put this Edith Holden with the periwinkle. I think that could be cute on there. All right. This one can go with the chapter one. This little guy, he folds down, but he doesn't go with anything really. This one, no. Mm, I love those. I think those might go okay with the um, cabinet card because they're fairly neutral. And this one, I, the little girl kind of looks like, I'm going to put this with the Mrs. Cog's Crafts, the Kate Greenway, it kind of, kind of goes, no, this one can go with the chapter one, it's the right colors. And this one, I think this one could go with the multicolored Kathy Holden. Um, I 
This one maybe could go with the cabinet cards. I might switch out some of the ephemera. And this one with the yellow. Oh, this one can go with Mrs. Coggs because there's a lot of yellow in that one. Okay, cool. I'm glad to, glad to have those like that. Okay, oopsie, flinging things. Okay, let's grab another stack. Oh my goodness, big stack, big stack here. I'm gonna get these back, put these back in before I get myself all messed up and I'll know that I had a plastic bag there. Ooh, well, yeah, that's a little flip down. Um, I think this could go with the periwinkle one. Um, there's a bit of blue. Just gotta look for a sec. I think there's a bit of blue in this one that this might. Yeah, I think this could go in this one. Okay. All right. This one can go in the chapter one. That's going to be a fatty McFatso because there's a lot in there. Um, that one. I think maybe Mrs. Coggs for that one. Then as I'm doing these journals at the retreat, if I don't use something, I put it in a spot and then I just, um, I can draw on it for the other journals. I think I'm gonna put this one with Kathy Holden. She's got real bright colors, so. Okay, this one. Nope, it's too bright. This one. Nope. This one. I feel like maybe this one could go with the periwinkle. Yep, I'm just gonna pop that in that. Oh, this would be good in the, would that be good? Yeah, this one's going in the chapter one. This one doesn't go, that one. That one could probably go in the um, cabinet card. It's more neutral. This one could maybe go in the Kate Greenway. This one, no, and this one, no, okay. And this, I think these are a bit too modern. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with these projects. Okay, let's just grab a hunk again. I think this might be from Rustic Prairie Gems. Correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't quite go. Don't have a blue really. No. This maybe could go in the chapter one. Oh. This goes more so with these. Let's see. Ooh, I haven't done anything for this one. I haven't done anything for this one. I forgot about it. And it has some bright things. What, what did we have that was bright? Um... I'm wondering about this. Yeah, that's going to go in that. It was sort of under the chapter one, and so I didn't didn't really notice it as much as I should have. Okay, so these. 
this could go in the cake green way. Need to make some more of these. Ooh, that's better for the cake green one. Okay, bend over. That one is a little wonky. I'm gonna have to work on it a little bit, but okay. One of these days, I'm gonna need to do. Um, this could go in the cabinet cards. One of these days I'm going to need to do a, um, like sort of a use it up sort of journal with pockets that have been in for a long time and I haven't found a home for them. So that last one I threw on the one that I was ignoring, this one is going to go, uh, I think, on the periwinkle. birdies and oh, that's cute I might put that in my um, Kathy Holden and this little one is the right colors I think for the Kate Greenway all right so we did that See what else we've got in here. That is so fun and it's so bright. Um, that would go great with the one that I had forgotten. Okay, and this one. <laughs> this might go in the um, Kathy Holden. See, I, I need to do one that's kind of in those colors, I think. That could maybe be in the cabinet card. Love that. Um, this one might go in the cabinet cards. You know, the thing about having a lot of ephemera, though, is you need a lot for a journal. At least I do. I suppose I decorate a bit heavily, but... Uh, STL Finds by Lori, these ones. Oh, they have... Um, recipe cards in them but they would not have to um well I think it's a bit bright this one could go in the cabinet cards oh some fun tickets here she is I'm gonna put this with the cabinet cards okie dokie I think I think that about does the pockets. How are we doing time-wise? Gosh, we're almost out of time. Okay, let's see if we can, well, we can look at this. There's not very many in here. These are these um, pockets and things that may, you know, will cover up a blank page. I don't know. Actually, this would go well, I think with the periwinkle one or the one that I forgot. Okay, here's the little card that goes in back of it too. So I'll put those with that. And Tim Holtz, I need to wait for a Tim Holtz. That one could go in the Kathy Holden. Uh, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. Maybe that could go in the cabinet cards. I think so. Put a little cabinet card behind the belly band. Okay, and that's it for that. Okay. Um, 
sweet. Let's look at these. Oh, for the time we have left, I'm going to look at paper clips and see what we might have here. I have these little tabbed ones I'd like to use. I think they'll go in the one that I forgot. So. Okay, and these are very neutral. They could go in the cabinet card one, maybe. Okay. This one, that's a beauty. I bet you that's e-papery. I don't know for sure. Um, I'm going to put that one with the Kathy Holden. Or, no, the Kate Greenway. And it might go with the... It could maybe go with the chapter one also. Okay, that's a spring happy little one. But I don't think it goes with anything. And then I have all of these that I made. I love them. I had this little book and it was so perfect for these tags. It was just awesome. Um, this was an idea from Corey Dahman, Creating with Scraps. That one I like for the cabinet card. Um, do I have one that I like for this one? The Rose Legacy. That could go with one of the florals. That down there. Um, I'm wondering if I have one for the Chapter 1 stuff. Well, that little guy. Oh, he goes this way. That's cute. Yeah, they, um, this one might kind of go with the chapter one. I think I could put a little bit of the ephemera from the kit. I think I'm going to put that with that one. Um, this one. This one kind of goes with the Kate Greenway, so I'm going to stick that with that. Okay. I want to make more of these, but these pages were so perfect for these that um, I haven't found anything as perfect yet. Um, I'm going to put this little butterfly with the... Kathy Holden that is more the purples and stuff. It kind of looks like it goes with one of the colors that I can see. Okay, we've got little roses. It's not decorated. Oh gosh, I made these many moons ago. I made those so long ago. Do they go with anything? <laughs> um... This one I think will go with Kathy Holden, so I'm gonna put that with that. And this one, it kind of goes with the um, chapter one, so I'm gonna put that with that. Okay, and this little girl has some flowers. Put that with the periwinkle. Okay, ballerina. I think I'll put this with the cabinet cards. It's pretty neutral. It might be kind of fun. That one's super fun too. Oh, I see it flips open. Obviously I did not make this one. Um, that would actually go with chapter one, two. So, you know, you never know where you're going to want it on a page. These are all from um, Mixed Media Minnesota. You don't know where you're going to want it on a page and that kind of stuff. So, oh, isn't that cute? That would go with chapter one, two. Um, this green one go with. 
Okay, this kind of goes with the Kate Greenway, actually. Okay. Don't forget to fly. Pink and blue. Put that with the chapter one. This one, I don't think it's gonna go with anything that I'm doing right this minute. Nor this one. They're kind of more fallish. Okay. Let's see what's in here. And then mm, those could be cute in the chapter one. Chapter one for that. This one could be cute in the other Kathy Holden. I think. I'm gonna put it with it, you know, err on the side of taking it with me is what I'm gonna do. That's really pretty too. That could go with the Kate Greenway. She's more salmon colored. Okay, you guys. Well, we we kind I, I guess what we accomplished today was to find out how much I had to do. Oh gosh. So I gotta get busy on these kits before the first of May. So, anyway, thank you so much for helping me go through. We've gone through that. We've gone through the pockets. So, um, yeah. I What I might do is I might keep going because I've got everything out. And, um, and just do another video for Thursday, I guess, is the next one. So, yeah. Well, thanks, everybody, so much for helping me out today. And thanks for, thanks for always being here. I appreciate y'all so much. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.